Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys all about context menus. So I'm pretty sure you guys know what slash commands are. Context menu is um, something like slash commands. Um, you you understand more about it uh, once you get later into the video. So um, to use context menu, you actually need to install Discord.js version 13.1. All right, so make sure you install that. Um, you simply do that by doing npm i discord.js at latest. Okay, make sure there's an E in here. And then if you want to check a version, okay, simply go to package.json and then you want to search for Discord.js, make sure it's 13.1 or above. All right, so um, if I go to Brave, my browser, okay, and I come in here, there is three types of application command type. So let me zoom in so you guys can see it properly. Okay, there is a chat input type, there's a user type, and there's a message type. So chat input is basically the normal default slash commands. So it's basically the slash commands that you write in the chat box. So um, let me just go to my server. All right, so um, this is all the slash commands. So this is all chat input slash commands. All right, so next we have the um, user. So basically user is, user and message are the um, context menu. So basically, when you type something like, let me just change it to Chinese so I can type like Ni Hao. All right, so if I do this, okay, and then you can you should see a apps option if you have context menus uh, registered. So I currently have one from Groovy and one from my bot. So I have this translate text um, context menu. So this is basically a message type. So this is a message type. All right, so for user, it's gonna be the same thing. Okay, so once you right click on the user avatar, or I'm pretty sure if you right click on the name, it's gonna to work too. All right, it's gonna show an option for apps in here if you registered. So currently I don't have apps, but you'll see later on the video. Okay, so um, here is, I'm gonna show you guys a demo. So if I click on translate text, so this is from my bot. Okay, and then it's gonna translate from Chinese to English. So we're not gonna do this. I'm just gonna teach you guys what context menu are. And maybe if you want to see how how I make this uh, translate, just let me know in the comments and leave a like on this video. All right, all right. The next thing I wanna talk about is the changes in the command handler. So to accept context menu, we actually need to change a few things so that uh, we can handle them perfectly. All right, so the first thing is actually index.js in the handler folder. So you wanna just locate for the handler folder and you wanna to go to index.js. All right, so um, basically you can't pass in descriptions in the command. So let me just pull up this ping.js. Okay, so if I have a description, let me just remove that. If I have a description, it's gonna throw an error. So to prevent this error, we just can add a simple line, which you can find in GitHub. So if you go to my uh, repository over in here, I'll link this down in the description. All right, and then you go to handler and you go to index.js and then you're going to scroll down until you find this line, which is on line 39. You want to copy this line over in here and then you want to go back to register your code you want to paste it in here, all right? So this basically just removes the description property in for each of the uh, commands, which is using the context menu, all right? So uh, as I have explained earlier, uh, the three types, all right? So if you don't specify a type for anything, it's gonna default to chat input. So this is basically, oops, I need to change it back to, okay. Type, okay, you can do chat input. All right, so this defaults to chat input. All right, next thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to your events folder and you wanna find for interaction create, All right? So um, if I go back to GitHub and then let me just search for interaction create. Okay, we're gonna use this file over here. Okay, as you can see here, there is a context menu handling. So we're just gonna copy this and then uh, we're just gonna paste it under the if statement, uh, under the slash command handling if statement. All right, so this basically gets our context menu command, and then it's just gonna run the command. Okay, so the third thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you guys how to register a context menu. All right, so I'm just gonna create two types of con uh, two types, which is the message and the user. So I'm just gonna change this to um, get content.js, and then the other is gonna be um, get avatar. Okay, so as I said earlier, uh, there is three types. So user, we're gonna make 
a user context menu command in here and then we're going to make a, a get content which is basically get the message content so i'm going to make the command using the message context menu all right so to get started uh i'm just going to copy from here just paste it in here get content get avatar all right so um in get content i'm just going to replace this name to get content all right and then the description i'm just going to remove it because we can't have descriptions in the um in context menus and then to specify a type so this is basically a message type because we want to get the um content of a message so we're just going to do type will be message okay once again this is found in over here so we're just going to use this message from in here all right so we're going to have the type message and then for now i'm just going to do con um I'm just gonna ignore it, okay? I'm just gonna ignore it. So same goes into here. Um, get avatar. So I'm just gonna change this to get avatar. Remove this description, add a type. But for this, we're gonna need user because we're gonna get the user's avatar. Okay, and I'm just gonna remove this. Okay, one more important thing is we need to change a uh, command interaction because it's not no longer a command interaction. It is a context menu interaction. So to do that, I'm just going to import it first so i'm just going to import it context menu interaction and then i'm just passing context menu interaction in here as well as in the get content so in here i'm just going to change um context menu interaction and i'm just going to remove comma interaction all right so let me just go back to terminal and let's just start the bot and let's see if it's uh if it registered the commands okay so for this card, I'm just going to say hi. And then if I right click on the message, it's going to show us apps as you can see here, and we're going to get the get content. Uh, the reason that um, get avatar is not available. So let me show you the command again, just in case that you're confused. So get avatar has a user. So the only way we can access this command is by right clicking on a user. So let me just try right clicking on myself. As you can see here, we have get avatar. Okay. So if I try to use this app over in here, it's going to fail. Oh, it's going to defer, but um, it's not going to do anything because we haven't specified to do anything. So if I go back to Visual Studio Code and I come in here, I can just do um, interaction dot follow up. And then we can just do content. Uh, you clicked it. All right. So once I use the context menu, it's just going to send a simple interaction follow up. All right. So this is just an example. We're going to restart your bot. Let me just use Notamon. Because it's going to be automatic. Okay, and I go back to Discord. And if I use the hi again, get content, it's going to say you clicked it. All right, perfect. So um, the command that we're going to do today is we're going to get the message content and we're going to repeat it. So it's just like the say command. So if I try to log out uh, what it actually shows, so let me just do console.log interaction. You should see something really cool. All right, it's actually not really cool, but um, it's a different property. So it's called the um, target ID. So if I use this, you click it, and you should see target ID is this ID over here. And then the target type is a message because we click, uh, we use the apps on the message. And then the ID of the message is over in here. So we can actually get the message simply by doing um, const message equals to interaction dot message interaction dot channel dot messages okay dot fetch we're gonna fetch the id which is gonna be interaction dot target id okay so we just i'm just gonna revise this again um we're gonna get the target id over in here okay so this id is basically gonna be in here and then we're basically fetching the message over in here so we make sure we want to have an await in here because it's a promise so we can just do um interaction dot follow up content will be um message or you can do interaction dot alter interaction dot user dot tag and then we can just repeat the message which is going to be message dot content all right so if you have any issues over here feel free to join the support so links will be in the description all right so the bot is now on let's just test this out again so if i do like um something like hello world Okay, so we're gonna get a longer text, and then if I do apps, get content, 
Okay, it's gonna send the command. As you can see here, it's gonna repeat the message. All right, so that is it for the message. Now we're gonna move on to the user context menu. So if I go in here, I, get, I click on get avatar, it's not gonna do anything because we haven't write, written any code yet. So once again, it's actually the same thing, but instead of giving the message ID, it's actually gonna give us the user ID. I mean, yeah, the user ID. So we can just log out the user. So const user equals to, um, okay, let me just log out the ID first. So interaction dot target ID. Okay, I'm just gonna log out the ID, console log user. Okay, you're gonna go back to Discord, make sure the bot is ready. Okay. And then um, if I use the command in here, get avatar. Okay, and then you should show us the ID. So this ID, okay, so let me just send this ID in chat. Send it like this. And then I'm just gonna make sure, just copy ID. Okay, as you can see here, both of these IDs match. So to get the avatar, we're actually gonna need to um, fetch the user first, and then we can get the avatar that way. So to fetch a user, we're just gonna do the same thing, await client.users.fetch and then you can just pass in the ID in here and then we can console log the user, okay? So let me just do that again. So if I do here, I do uh, apps get avatar, it should log out the object. So as you can see here, this is my ID, this is my name and if I do it to my alt account, all right, um, apps get avatar. Okay, I do it on a recon test. Okay, as you can see here, it showing us the it's showing us the username, which is free contest, and then here's our avatar. Okay, so to send the avatar is actually really simple as well. All we do is the same thing, which is interaction dot follow up content will be interaction. Um, actually, we can make a embed because I feel like okay, why not make it beautiful? Embed equals to new message embed. Okay, we're gonna set the alter to the user tag, and then we're gonna set. Okay, never mind. We we're just gonna use the user tag, and then set the thumbnail to. Oh, we actually use set image because it's gonna give us a bigger picture. So user display avatar, display avatar URL, dynamic. We're just gonna give it true. So dynamic true basically gives us a animated profile picture, and lastly we can just do interaction dot follow up content and then we can oh actually it's embeds pass in embed in here okay and then we can have a content okay if you want all right so this is just a tutorial you can do whatever you want and then we can just do um user or tags and then avatar or data okay whatever it is okay so let's just wait for it to restart again so if i go to discord and i get my avatar Okay, it's going to show recons data and it's going to show my avatar in here. And if I go to maybe Zex, all right, and then I do get avatar, it's going to get the Zex avatar as well as it's going to display over here. And then lastly, I'm just going to try this on here. So get avatar. All right, let's just wait. So yeah, that should be it for today's video on the context menu. If you have any questions, feel free to join the support server. Links will be in the description. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.